Taipei Mayor Coenza is in the Netherlands for a tour of public facilities, and he's particularly taken by Amsterdam's cycle lanes. The Dutch capital's bike lane network, gradually established over four decades, is the envy of cyclists worldwide. Ko says he would like to rethink Taipei's plans in light of his Dutch field trip. During his visit to the Netherlands, Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhe visited the Galgenvaard football stadium, as well as public housing and cycle lane networks in Amsterdam. The latter left a strong impression on the mayor, who has struggled to improve Taipei's bike network. If they spend 40 years building their network, then perhaps we shouldn't imagine we can do it in two or three years. When we return, we should reformulate our cycle lane plan. But one scholar from Feng Jia University is opposed to a remodeling of Taipei based on a Dutch precedent. Taipei should not make a bike lane plan copied off Holland. Number one, we do not have as much need for cycling as the Dutch, and the way we ride bicycles is not identical to the Dutch either. Secondly, we have limited space for bike lanes. When the roads in Taipei were being planned, bike lanes were not included. If we're going to mimic foreign countries, we should do so in a measured, appropriate way, accounting for the differences in demand, usage, and space limitations. In the Netherlands, the bike is the most widespread form of transport, and the country has almost 30,000 kilometers of dedicated cycle lanes. But the Taiwanese are keener on scooters, and more than 60 percent of Taipei cycle lanes are also pedestrian pavements. It will be a challenge for Kerwenger to see just how much of Holland's example can be fruitfully applied back at home.